Now here's the kit I got for my local dealership. And it's really important that you get the right kit. So you guys can see it's for the um, 810cc V twin. Um, it's for the Argoy engine. And the one that is rated 28 um, eight horsepower. And it's also for the um, the big block V twin and for the 37 um, horsepower gross. So let's check out more and make sure everything is correct. All right, so we look at our mower. We wanna match it up. It's for the 810cc and the 28 horsepower mower engine, all right? So we know we got the right kit. So let's open this up and see what kind of goodies do we have. All right, so we open that up. Get it on the side over here. All right, let's see what we got. All right, so we got the five quarts of oil. So we got that. Now we got the air filter. Now this air filter alone costs about 30 bucks. So it's just like they gave me this for free. All right, what else we got in here? All right, we got the spark plugs. Okay, we got the gas filter. And we got the oil filter. All right, so we got any more goodies in here. Okay. We got the, uh, what is this? Okay, it's the furrow treatment, right? So it also came with this furrow treatment. So we'll get started on changing the oil. All right, guys, so we underneath the mower in the back by the mower, by the motor. And I don't know if you can see this little screw here, but this is how you drain the oil. And it's got this screw in here just to keep all the debris out of there. Um, so we're gonna slide our oil pan up under the mower. And we're gonna see can we unscrew this. Well, actually, let me, let me slide that back and start to get this unscrewed without making a mess. Oh, it was pretty easy. So let's slide the drain pan back. Here. All right, so let's go back up top. All right, I hope it ain't too okay. I hope it's not too hard to hear because the wind is blowing really hard. But we had a zip tie here, and I just cut it off with this um, this blade here. All right, so we want to turn this kind of clockwise and take that off. And there's your filter. So we're gonna turn that the same exact way. Ah. There we go. Get that up out of there. Oh my God, look at that. Yeah, it was most definitely time for an oil change. All right, so we finna get all this drained out and change the, the filter. Okay, guys, I was trying to figure out why my oil wasn't draining. But you gotta, you gotta turn this release valve right here, right? Forgot about that. So let's, let's turn the release valve. All right. All right, now you guys can see it's starting to drain now. So we're going to get it a minute to drain all the way out. Okay, guys. You want to get your screw back on. All right. To keep the little drips of oil from just dripping out. Um, you just want to get that hand tight. You don't want to over tighten it. All right. So after that's done. You see how the oil that came out of there? So you want to close up your release valve and make sure it's tight. So we're going to close up the release valve.
Make sure we get it hand tight. All right, we got that hand tight. You want to take a rag and you want to you want to get all that dirt from around the rim. You don't want any of that getting into your oil. So we're just gonna wipe that off. All right. All right. Some people um, select to put the filter on first and then add the oil to kind of keep some debris out of the, um, the tank. But I'm actually gonna add the oil first cause my rim is pretty clean. So I'm gonna add the oil. All right, so I'm adding the five quarts. And the cool thing about this whole process is you don't even need any tools. All right, so we got all that done. Also, guys, you want to take just a little oil and you want to lube around the rim here. Now I'm going to put a filter on. All right, let's see how it goes. All right, let's get that down now. Give it a turn. All right, so that's that's good. We'll put the cap back on. Make sure it's tight. All right, guys, so that's all done. I also added another zip tie to this, right? Um, now, you don't suppose to change this oil into 500 hours. That's the purpose of this oil guard. And the other purpose for it is to keep the engine a lot cooler, right? But as you guys can see, I only have 317 hours on this bull. But you know, you just get that gut feeling and say, hey, change the oil. So when I get that gut feeling, you know, I, I got to act upon it. Now we'll go about changing the filter. So we got the clamps unhooked. You guys see how filthy that is right there. And we're just simply just going to throw this away and install another one. All right, so we got the new air filter here. I'm just going to put it on and turn it in place. Now, what did I do with that cap? Hmm. Oh, here it goes. All right. So just take the cap, put it back on. All right. Make sure it's, make sure it's tight. Put your clamps in place here. All right. Put your camp, clamps in place and just clamp it down. All right, as simple as that. Now you guys got to witness me do that from start to finish. All right, you're coming with Chris. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.